lot, Adam. Well, if you think you have a lot of toys, try being Mike Zarnock. Almost 20,000 Hot Wheels cars. And no, they're not his kids. They're all his. News Channel 2's Dave Delachase has more on how a childhood passion came full circle for this Deerfield resident. I've always loved cars. And uh, as far back as I can remember, there were always cars in my, in my life, whether they were toy or real. So when... Mattel came out with Hot Wheels. I mean, I was, I was in heaven. That was, that was the greatest thing for me. He continued collecting until he was about 14 or 15 years old when his interest grew from just toy cars to real cars. And um, eventually I got a chance to buy uh, an old race car, an old uh, AA altered car, and um, just started going racing with it all over the East Coast. But he never gave up his fondness for the toy cars, and as his collection grew, so did his reach to other collectors, all thanks to the then up-and-coming Internet. I got into looking for things on the Internet, and I found a lot of Hot Wheels and Hot Wheels collectors, um, and then I built my first website. Sharing his expertise via the net led to a book deal on collecting the cars, and it wasn't long before that book became a series of books. And he started rubbing elbows with the toy makers who created his childhood passion. And when the time came for a new line of the toys focused on vintage racers, opportunity came knocking once again. And I said, man, you know how cool it would be to have my old race car in that series? So from driving Hot Wheels cars on the rug as a kid, to driving his own real-life race car in his 20s, to collecting and writing about Hot Wheels cars as an adult, it all came full circle for Mike Zarnock when his drag racer became a Hot Wheels car all its own. But having my old race car become a Hot Wheel car in a regular Hot Wheel series that you can buy in any store. And that's, that's just a, a, a dream come true. Reporting in Deerfield, Dave Delachase, News Channel 2.